Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It is Francesco here. Today we're going to be talking about Microsoft To Do 2.0. We're going to be talking about the new plans that they have and diving into the brand new application. Without further ado, let's jump in. So, as you can imagine, Microsoft To Do have been working hard. Um, they did send me a, uh, a beta version. Uh, that I was testing and obviously there's a few design changes in this application. They've also added a few tools to security. I believe you can get two-step authentication now, but we're going to give you my sort of first impressions of Microsoft To Do 2.0, although I've already sort of played around with it a little. Now, as you can imagine, there's offer to turn on notifications and uh, I'm going to say no to that. But as you can see, it's slightly different. Um, so it's gonna bring in all my stuff here. You can see that some of the iconography is a lot cleaner, a lot more uh, flat design. But you can also see that uh, the colors are slightly different. So once I go into any of the, the new uh, lists, so for example, this one is important, nothing really changes in terms of the, uh, the actual details page. When you go in to see a task, it's not any different. However, you do get this sort of like, card layout for each task um, and what's nice as well if you want to add a task it just pops up and you're able to sort of get rolling now some of the things that they've done is they've added a few different backgrounds which makes it a lot sort of brighter so you've got a more color range you can also add what's called a photo very similar to some other application called Wunderlist which they've incorporated a lot and they've mentioned this they've actually said They've incorporated a lot. So this actual background is directly imported from the uh, the, the Wunderlist one, which is something that I know a lot of people will love, but also feel freaked out because I'm looking at it and going, I'm holding Wunderlist, but actually Wunderlist is going to be unavailable, I'm sure, in the near future. So that's one of the nice additions you can add and customize with any of the photos, which is nice. Like there are some really attractive, high quality design ones. And I'm sure in the near future, they will be able to allow you to customize to add your own photos. Now it's the same across the board, so you can design any of the pages to meet your needs. I really like the new color design and the headers look a lot bolder and a lot bigger. So if I go to my day, I can start adding to my day. Um, naturally, for example, it could be uh, buy stamps because I have to buy some stamps and it, it naturally adds up there. And you can use a, the suggestions feature as if you were using it previously. Now, as you can imagine, this is really a li little bit different on the Mac version. So take a look at the Mac version, it's a lot cleaner. I think that the, um, and the Windows version as well, I think the photos look a lot better. They've announced that dark mode is coming to iOS. Um, it's available currently on all other devices, minus iOS. Um, and they've really pushed on Wunderlist. Um, they're looking to sort of, I guess, eradicate it very soon. But there's a big conversation open, which I've done a separate video on, uh, will either be out today or tomorrow. Um, it's about the Wunderlist buyback situation. So I'll try and publish it either tonight or this morning, or either way it'll be available and I'll put it in the link in the description. But uh, whether the old founder of Wunderlist actually goes and buys back Wunderlist, or whether they just leave Microsoft to do to be the sole experience. Anyway guys, hopefully that was a brief overview. I didn't want to touch too much, but hopefully it gave you an idea of what's new in 2.0 or what's new in Microsoft to do. Uh, I will talk to you guys very soon and please do let me know what you think of it in the comment below. If you want to take the Skillshare class on Microsoft to do, you can feel free to go and check that out as well. Anyway guys, thanks very much. Talk to you very, very soon. Cheers.